Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, let me see. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. For those who are already subscribed, welcome back. Um, how is everyone doing? You know, just leave a comment down below. Let's talk. Let's have a, a dialogue, y'all. A conversation. Um, for those who are new to my channel, hi, my name is Tika. Uh, sorry, let me check my phone. Okay. My name is Tika. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, um, hit the notification bell so you want to receive more videos from me. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, so y'all see the title of the video. I'm going to be doing an uh, energy reading on this lovely woman here. I don't know if they're sharing it, though. Let me. Did they share it? Okay, no. I'm still. Yeah, there we go. This lovely, beautiful woman here, Chelsea Crest. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name right. But I'm just going to be calling her Chelsea throughout the whole reading. Um, if some of you may or may not heard, um, Chelsea passed away a few days ago. Um, so far, it's ruled as a suicide. So far, um, we don't know that to be true. Um, so far, they're labeling that. But I just realized, like... Um, you have to do an autopsy and stuff like that before proving that. But then, uh, you know, so I wasn't going to do a reading on her like this soon. But I asked my pendulum, you know, my pendulum right here to get the yes or no answer. Hold on. I used my pendulum yesterday to um, receive an answer. And it was still for a very long time. It didn't move. And then it went left and right. And left and right means yes. So... Um, Cause you know I gotta respect the wishes of spirit. Um, so I already saged Palo Santo, my area. Because earlier when I was thinking about doing a reading, I felt very drained. Um, I don't know if I'm already channeling her. I feel very like emotionally like like I'm just like emotionally tired and drained of energy. That's how I feel. Um, that was earlier today. So I was like, mm, I still feel it a little bit. Um, and I was like, you know what? Let me make sure I protect myself. Um, I also have this, you know, set the vibes. Okay, that feels so good when I do that. Just to bring in a nice, subtle, calm, loving frequency. That's all I want right now around me is loving energy messages to do this um this reading. So let's get started. Um, if y'all don't know about Chelsea, she is um former Miss USA um 2019. She is also a lawyer. She is 30 years old. Um, she's also a correspondent for, is it? I forgot for what show, but she's a, she's just a beautiful person all around. You, you see how beautiful she is. Um, but let's see what was going on with her mentally or what was going on surrounding her, the energy around her and within her. Okay, um, so I'm going to start 
Um, I'm going to be using this deck of cards. You probably can't see it. Yeah, that deck of cards. And I have new deck of cards coming in too, by the way. Let me check my <laughs> Amazon. New deck of cards coming in. Okay, I'll do that when I finish. Let me just focus on her reading. All right. So the question I'm going to ask is, Chelsea, Alexa, turn down. Um, I just want to first pick up her overall energy of that day. I'm going to um, put out three cards. The overall energy for the day. The day that she passed. The morning. Because she passed away like around 7 something, right? In New York City. I live in New York City, by the way. So I don't know who came upon her body. But I know that traumatized them. Um, spirit. Spirit showing. What's going on? Chelsea's energy. So the Ace of Coins came out and the King of Coins came out. Mm. And the world came out. So I don't know if she was offered something. And the world came out. The Ace of Coins is like, um, I say Coins. <laughs> is the Ace of Coins and Pinnacles are the same, right? So if you hear me say Pinnacles, that's a coin. If you hear me say Coin, that's also Pinnacles. So um, it's like an offering of something. I don't know if somebody was offering her something offering. Because you see that person, even the king has the money in his hand in this card. And look at this card. This is like, it's similar. Look at that. Like somebody was offering her something. And then the world card came out. Which is that the world card is a good card, but it's a reward of something. Wow. Um, let me pull out more. And the moon card came out after. A moon is like trickery, like illusion. I don't know if somebody was trying to give her something to keep. I don't know to. This reminds me of like a man giving a woman money after to either keep her to shut up about something or this also this energy also gives like how to say it like for example of a woman being in like abusive relationship and a guy gives her a lot of gifts so she can just you know accept it Because the moon means bad influence, a deceitful, it can be it, also a deceitful friend, dishonesty. Mm. Let me, um, um the four of swords came out, which means, um, escape from mental disorder. Um, and let me check my notes because I know I write down. Mm. She, she wanted a rest from something or someone. The five of cups, a loss. Okay, this is how I'm going to try to interpret it in multiple ways how I see it. So one could be somebody offering her something to hide something, the truth of something, or to make her feel good about something, but is a deceitful person. 
or two. This can mean um, an offer coming in about something financially, um, which is not good money. You ever heard of like dirty money or, you know, mm, I'm trying to pick it up, y'all. Because whatever this was, it wasn't sitting right with her. So I don't know if she had a financial issue going on. Because the Five of Cups is out, which means partial loss, regret, friendship without meaning, um, a marriage without love, a flaw, incomplete union or partnership. I don't know. I don't know if she's in a relationship, y'all, or it, this can also mean a, a, a partner, a partnership when it comes to business, something separating. Let me show you. And the Five of Coins came out. The Five of Coins, I don't like this. It means like material trouble, a failure, um, a loss of job, emotional confusion. Something that's, um, because five mean in tarot card reading, it means um, adversity. So this can mean somebody's going through a lot of, a lot financially. I'm trying to see if even in here, can I detect one's taking their life but once you see like financial issues and things like that hmm. let me see the queen of coins so security a rich person but a general like, but a generous and charitable, noble person. I don't know if she was giving a lot to people. And that probably would have caused her to get into like a financial. Like a financial ruin or upset. Let me see. I remember one, I forgot her name, Simone Battle. She was, I forgot what group she was in, but she also committed suicide years ago. And her family said she was going through money issues. So I don't know if this could be in the case of Chelsea, but let's see what the cards show. So far, it looks like it's a, yeah, a full a beginning. I don't know if she was supposed to be starting a new job or something with her career. She thought about, um, I don't know if she had trouble in, cause I know she, she was in law school and I know she's a lawyer. I don't know if she had trouble in that field though. Like I'm getting like a little bit like sexism almost like people, even though she done with like she, did all that she have to do to establish herself in that position is like when she's in that pos position, somebody would probably say to her, well, this is not a pageant. You know, you got to work with the big boys type energy. Like they would throw that at her too. A fool, because a fool can mean the beginning of a venture, enthusiasm, new school, new job, unlimited possibilities, um, carelessness. It can mean... Um, obsession i don't know with what though let me clarify the fool please clarify the fool please clarify the fool in chelsea energy reading please clarify the fool the sun okay what did i mark down for the sun because sometimes you know when it comes to tarot card reading you also need to put your own notes down of how you feel Okay, the fool. Please clarify the fool and the sun. The fool and the sun. Strength. Mm, please clarify the fool, the sun, and strength. She has. She's getting a lot of major iconas, though. What does that mean? Temperance. Wow. Another major arcana. Please clarify the fool. 
the sun, strength, and temperance. Temperance is meaning like being patient, y'all. Like she's, mm. Ace of Pentacles came out again. Somebody offered, and it's crazy how this Ace of Pentacles has a moon behind it. And remember in the other card, because this Ace of Pentacles is similar to the, the Ace of Coins in this one. They're both the same card. They're just a different deck of cards. This is the same thing. And behind, and then there's a moon in this one. That's the moon right here. Remember I said in the other card, moon means trickery. I don't know if somebody offered her money, but for what? Let me um, clarify the moon. That's what I'm going to do. Strength. I don't know. Maybe she thought she was going to get into a financial investment or something that got to do with finances. And it just didn't work out. Um, please clarify the moon. Because that moon is, is not a good energy. Please clarify the moon. Please clarify the moon. Especially when it's in an upright. Please clarify the moon and Chelsea's energy. I'm feeling a little anxious. Like, like I'm about to solve something here. <laughs> okay. Let me. The ace of wands is a guy, y'all. I don't know. Because the, okay. Where is my notes? The King of Wands. An entrepreneur. I did say something like with business, a visionary. There's something. I don't know if somebody... I don't know if somebody tried to deceive her through business. Please clarify the moon and the King of Wands. Please clarify the moon and the King of Wands. Oh, my sister's calling me, y'all. All right, hold on. Hey, sis, let me call you back. I'm doing a reading. All right. And please clarify the moon and the king of wands, please. Okay. The fool came out again. Yo, I think somebody was offering her an entree, something that got to do with business, money, finances. And it is, it is not what it seemed like. It was a trickery because, yo, what's the coincidence of this of this coming out and then this, the fool in another deck of court? I can't. Yeah, clear, Now clarify the fucking fool because I don't know. Clarify the fool. I don't know if somebody was obsessing over her and I, I'm getting like, Yo, please clarify the fool. Please clarify the fool. Please clarify the fool. Ten of Pentacles. Please clarify the fool. Ten of Pentacles is like um, material abundance financially, everything like in your material world. Um, like offering of like a money, but is a rat there too. Look, this reminds me of somebody like my image, my image when I see this and a rat is right there in front of an open, that's like somebody opening up a briefcase and like, look, I got $10,000 here, but they not to be trusted. That look like the fucking rat from New York City for real. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be joking, but for real. And then the seven of swords came out. Mm, let me um clarify the fool, the ten of pentacles, and the seven of swords, please. Cause um, let me check my notes for the seven of swords. My um. Because the seven of swords can mean like deception or betrayal. I'm getting like, this is what I'm picking up. Like she was having financial 
issues and somebody probably act, you know, try to offer to help her. Because and then she was blindsided, but look, because two two of swords is like deciding something mentally. It's like a a choice, but it's like to me, it's almost like being indecisive about something, not being sure. Please clarify the two of swords. Please clarify the two of swords. Oh, card flew out. Hold on. I'm not taking that one. Let me clarify the two of swords. Let me do this because y'all probably gonna think I'm just pulling out any card. Let's clarify the two, the two of swords. Let me move this down. Please clarify the two of swords. The three of swords. That means like grief, heartbreak. I don't know. This is giving, this is giving either somebody she knows, played her financially, fucked her over. Um, somebody she trusts. This is, I'm I i do not know. But then it's also giving she was going through pain the day before she passed. Like she was going through loss, grief. Of what? I'm just reading what I'm like seeing in the cards. Please clarify the three of swords. Please clarify the three of swords. And the sun came out again. Uh, yes, let me see what I put down. I think for the sun the sun usually don't mean uh wait i thought i wrote it down i didn't it's positivity and enlightenment Grubhub giving me my money back because yesterday they gave me some cold, cold food. All right. Um, she was she was um positive about something and it just went left. Something went left. I don't know because the sun because the the sun is the opposite from the moon, so being taken advantage of. Cause that's what that moon means too. Please, um, um, Chelsea, show me whatever you want to just, you know, just express through the cards. I'm gonna just let energy do its thing and let's see what comes out. The Knight of Coins. It's another thing coming in again, the Knight of Coins. Somebody, um, mm, I don't know. The Seven of Swords keep coming out again. Somebody is giving, is, is a guy that's coming in and giving her something money. Like trying to, it could be either finances of offering like business or it can be just to help her out. This is I'm gonna say this, y'all. They need to investigate all the men that were around her recently. That can be her father, her boyfriend. Um, not trying to say anything crazy, but there's there's because not even it's too much male energy in this reading, and it has to deal with material money, something with money. Because the seven of swords came out again. Hmm. Oh, that flew out. 
the five of swords came out again de um defeated mm. dishonor destruction of others oh Lord. okay um Enterprise keep coming out too. Something with business keep coming out. The three of wands is here. Is um to me when I see the three of wands, that means like communication, right? But it's like communication for three. Because in tarot card reading, three means communication, and the wands is action. So something was being taken of action of either a business, a commerce, um. Something with business negotiation. Remember, I stated it seemed like somebody, some, I don't, she needs to, you know what? I'm, I know Chelsea's not no longer here in the physical, but if she can, you know, help somebody be like, hmm, you know, I'm, I, leave it to the, leave it. I don't know why. I don't know why Lyft is charging me two dollars. Why? Okay. Um, what was I saying? Sorry. I know the investigators are gonna like you know do their thing. Detectives, hopefully, please let's see what's going on. Oh my god, I'm mad that just now like I'm playing with the cards. I'm going. I'm splitting them up. And why do I see the falling tower? And then somebody's falling out the building. This is the fucking fuckery. I'm sorry for cursing, but this is not, this is not it. A complete and sudden change, abandonment of a past relationships, the end of a long friendship, unexpected events, a downfall, undoing loss of stability and setback. So I don't, let me um clarify this because let me use, I need it. I should have gotten more decks out. Let me try to, all right, please clarify the falling tower. Please clarify the falling tower. Tower. Please clarify the falling tower. The Ace of Pentacles again. What the? Yo, I you know sometimes when I do readings, I shock myself. And I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all can look at my, my Rihanna and ASAP Rocky video that I recorded in November. I had to disable my comments back then because people was coming for me. They was like, oh, you sound crazy. She's not pregnant. And I was like, yo, I'm doing what I'm just saying. I'm just saying allegedly, but. So far, when I've been doing my card readings, it never let me down. Off of this whole platform thing, I have callers calling for a reading, and everything I have said to them came to pass. So, but somebody came in offering something. Please clarify the Fallen Tower and the Ace of Pentacles. And I don't like that. Let me see. Um... Like somebody's offering like um like prosperity to her. But that moon, remember I said that moon was behind the coin, like a deceitful person. And look, she, you know how they say when a woman looks so fine, they'll call her a fox. Look, look right here, a fox. Somebody came in offering something, but behind that offer was not good. You know how the entertainment business is, so I don't know. I used to want it to be a performer. I kind of still do. Like, I'm going to model and thing. But it's like, I don't want to deal with the dark shit that's behind all of that. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Please clarify the Fallen Tower in the Ace of Pentacles. Please clarify the Fallen Tower in the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. The Two of Pentacles came out. Is this like deciding something? A decision. <sighs> Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Please clarify the two of pentacles. The empress. The empress is, I mean, she is beautiful. It's, it's a loving, beautiful energy to have the empress come out. But also, let me see. Natural earth, birth, fertility, femininity. Please clarify the empress. Please clarify the empress. The Ten of Wands working. Let me um using this deck of cards. I'm gonna leave that full tower out. Leave the moon out in the four. Let me put okay. Um please clarify. The Ten of Wands. Please clarify the Ten of Wands. Okay. The Chariot came out. The Ten of Wands, um, Perseverance. Somebody was working um, Trouble Adversities. Like somebody was trying to work to get something done. Please clarify the chariot. Please clarify the chariot. The lovers. Okay. The lovers can mean like a romantic relationship. It, it could also mean a friendship. Um trust honor somebody was yeah like i stated before um they need to talk to people who are really close to her and and find out what was going on around her during that time please clarify the chariot and the lovers i don't know if she was supposed to be moving or leaving nyc I'm getting that too. And she thinks a lot about the past, like her childhood, because the Six of Cups came out. And when the Six of Cups came out, like when it comes out, it's like nostalgia. Mm. Please clarify. I don't know if she was thinking about moving back home. Some I don't know where her family's from, but I don't know if she was thinking about moving back home with her family or her family was going, something's going on in her family. Please clarify the Six of Cups. Please clarify the Six of Cups. The Six of Wands. Um, Yeah, maybe I said somebody came in with an offer, something with business, because the Six of Wands also means promotion, um, recognition of something. Let me, um, because Six is growth, like something new is happening, and uh, let's see, please clarify the Six of Wands. Oof, I'm feeling drained. Wow. The five of coins. I don't know if she she was planning on moving or she, it was a lot going on. I think she felt very confused, y'all. Like, it's like all these ideas, because this is how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, oh, I got to do this. Like, you know how when a person trying to juggle everything all at once? Because the five of coins came out again. That's a person that's like struggling financially. Like, like the material and it's like, okay, what to do? Um, should I move back home with family? Or um, I don't know who's her friends or her her boyfriend or lovers, you know. I don't know what's going on with that. Please clarify the um four. I said the four of coins. Please clarify the five of coins. 
estampa do Five of Coins. The Ace of Swords. Mm. Somebody is somebody with um because the ace of swords usually means somebody with power, and it can mean like getting that D, you know. Um because it says strength, force, triumph, power, success, fertility, deep emotional feeling, love, championship, conquest. Oh boy. I don't know. I'm getting, um, I don't know if somebody, I don't want to put this out there. I don't know if she ever been through like something sexual. Yeah. See the judgment card came out after that. I was about to say, I don't know if she'd been through something traumatizing. I don't know if somebody sexually assaulted her, like either when she was young. Cause the judgment card came out right after that. Mm. Rebirth. Wow. Please let me um clarify that judgment card. Please clarify the judgment card. Please clarify the judgment card. Remember, look down below. This is a disclaimer. Everything is alleged predictions, okay? Don't be coming for me. I'm just seeing what the cards are showing. Please clarify the judgment card. Something happened to her when she was young, too. Please clarify the judgment in the Ten of Wands. Ooh, the two swords came out again. The ten of wands came out again. She was very indecisive. She felt like she was stuck. Anything, any, I don't know. This is a lot of conflicting energy. The justice card came out. So, yeah, something's going to happen. Something's going to be brought up of what really happened to her or what she's been through. And... um. Is it suicide? I don't know if she really, because I don't know. I don't know if it's to the point like she's been through so much that she was like, F it, or somebody did this to her. So I don't know. But so far, it's a lot of men in her energy, a lot of um tr trickery, money being offered, and, you know, her feeling indecisive about things because she don't trust it. And, and the judgment card and the justice card come out. Come on. Mm. So I'm gonna ask, um, did she commit suicide? So I'm gonna say, um, I probably can't see that. Um, let me see. I could probably see that, okay? Um, let me see if I can use the back of my hand. Mm. I don't have nothing. I could probably use this to. The Empress came out again with this card. I can't see that. I guess I can't use the pendulum today because it doesn't help with the illusion of my shirt. Um, let me just see if I can do more of the reading. Um, clarify the justice card. Clarify the justice card. Because the judgment came out, and that's like time to account for actions, you know? Mm, the Six of Pentacles. That's somebody offering money, giving money away. Somebody in her family, somebody's going to be giving money away. And it's crazy that the justice card is here, and that's a, it's a scale in the justice card, right? You see that scale that she's holding? 
and look, the six of pentacles, he's holding a scale. That's interesting. Please clarify. Let me um clarify the six of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Um, please clarify the six of pentacle pentacles. Please clarify the six of pentacles. Please clarify the six of pentacles. Okay. The queen of swords. Yeah, this is giving me, I don't know, this is giving me her energy. Um, this says a widow, a woman of sadness, absence, loneliness, separation. Um, I am getting that she she stayed to herself a lot. Let me um clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Mm, that flew out. The Page of Coins. Um, a page. The Page of Coins is like. Ooh, give me a study. Respect for knowledge. Respect for learning. New ideas. Hmm. Please clarify the page of coins. The Queen of Cups. Now is more women energy coming out. Warm hearted person, poetic, beloved, admired person, good friend. Okay, now I think this is either picking up on her mom or her roommate, because I think she has a female roommate, I think. Um, devoted, honestly, love, intelligent gift of vision i think it was somebody that was always um uplifting her whenever she felt down i don't know if this is someone she met while she was in school or just business um please clarify the queen of cups This, okay, the emperor, worldly power, a brother, a husband, a male influence, a wealthy, maturity, stable, authority, leadership. Okay, we got to clarify this. Now, who is this emperor? Please clarify. At this point, I don't know. I feel like I'm going in circles with this reading. Um, I do believe they, they should investigate um, her close people and see, you know, how does she lead up to this, you know, side. And if it's not, then what's really going on? But we, we can't determine that until the autopsies come back. Um, please clarify the emperor. That's my thing all faced around the wrong way. Ah, sheesh. Ah, sheesh. Oh, I gotta fix this. Okay. Okay. Please clarify the emperor. Wait, what's going on with these cards? They're not... Okay, make sure they're all good. Okay, let me start that over. Please clarify the emperor.
Please clarify the emperor. The ace of coins keep coming back out. The ace of pentacles. Somebody was offering her money. But after that emperor is worldly power, I don't know. I don't want to be talking about the... I don't want to be doing all that. But this is giving like somebody who has wealth, or whatever, tried to persuade her to do something. And, you know... Remember, this is a men's game, you know? Especially if... You know, she is in a in both in entertainment and in um criminal justice, right? Um, she all she left was a note stating um her belongings go to her mom and her former um her former beauty queen um pageant, you know. Um that's a lot. It really is. Um, Chelsea, is there anything else? Oh, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Reading on her is draining me. That's why I can't be doing a lot of readings back to back in one day because it'd be a lot. I don't know, somebody's moving. Um, mm, the Will of Fortune. Mm, clarify the Nine of Wands in the Will of Fortune, please. Clarify the Knights of Wands in the Will of Fortune. Because the Wheel of Fortune is like destiny. And the Emperor came out again. I can't make this shit up, y'all. The Emperor came out again. So they need to investigate these guys that's around her. This might be somebody that has a lot of money, though. I don't know what her father does for a living. I don't know what her boyfriend does. I don't even know who, what male that's been around her. What's going on? Mm, what's going on? Clarify the Emperor, please. Clarify the emperor. Clarify the emperor. The hermit. The hermit. Mm. This is usually someone who's like, they stayed in themselves. Hmm. She always stayed to herself, but she was very observant with, you know, her surroundings. And the Three of Swords came out again. Let me see. Um, mm. Whew. Mm. I'm not going to lie, y'all. Like, her... Oh, wow. After this reading, I got to let all this go. Like, um, the Three of Swords came out again, which means, you know, pain, grief, unhappiness, um, a disappointment. Mm. Somebody is going to either offer money to the the system to get something done about like you know for autopsy to see what's going on with her because I don't think whoever that is they don't believe it's us side. Um, and the ten of wands, what would that be? No. It's like a burden or responsibility to carry. So she was going through a lot, or someone who knows her is going through a lot. And um, well, I'm so sorry this happened to you, Chelsea. Oof. Mm. 
Mm. Okay, please show me. Anything else you want to say in the cards? Anything else you want to say in the cards? Mm. No, I'm not gonna lie. Her energy is really in the three of swords. Keep coming out. She's she she's in grief. Yeah, she's grieving. It's a lot of grief. I know a lot of people around her are grieving. It's a lot. Anything else? Anything else? The five of pentacles again. Yeah, they need to check her financial situation to see what's the cause. I don't know if somebody promised her to do some, you know, help her for financially and it just went left. They probably wanted something because it's mm -hmm, some of these guys are like that. You, you got to give up something before they give something. Some of these guys are definitely like that. I don't know. She three of swords. Okay, let me get one more message, please. One more message. One more message. The um, eight, eight of Wands in creation, um, inspiration, right? That can be starting on new plans, still indecisive with the Two of Swords in uh, the higher front. Oof. Yeah, the higher front. And may I say it again? What's this behind the higher front? The moon. And usually in tarot card reading, the higher front would be um, a tradition, a religion. We all know what entertainment religion they worship, like a, a group identification. We know. Indecisive, deciding, but new creation. Boy, please clarify the hierophant. That's what I'm gonna do. Clarify the hierophant. Clarify the hierophant. And Chelsea's energy reading, please. Clarify the hierophant. This the um Queen of Wands, sympathetic, sympathetic, sympathetic. <laughs> I said sympathetic, <laughs> sympathetic and and understanding person, friendliness, love, lovingness, honor, capable for meaningful expression in love, sincere in interest of others. That seems like her. Very beautiful. Clarify the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands. Please clarify the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands. The Knight of Swords of Bravery. Mm, I don't know what this means, y'all. The queen, the queen of wands, being sympathetic towards you know her emotions for others. Then is the knight. Then is the knight of swords. A heroic action. Mm. Yeah, they need to see what's going on. Like somebody came in with an offer of something, like they was gonna help her out, and take off of like overburden because I believe like a lot of coins and pentacles came out in very low numbers and the lower the number 
especially if it has to deal with like um which one that came out when I was like mm. Ooh, sorry y'all mm. it just wasn't a good reading it was all over the place like it's like a lot of things could be the issue and it's to the point you don't even know where to begin or start to talk about what is the bigger issue all of it is an issue um and it's actually draining it is draining because as i'm sitting here i'm like omg like i feel like wow i don't i usually don't get like that um let me put away these Something with the Hierophant not sitting right with me, though. So, yeah, y'all can put two or two of that together. But this is the end of the reading. I'm going to close it out. Chelsea, may you rest in peace, beautiful. And hopefully there will be news update on what happened to you and what's going on. And so far, I'm just getting, like, around the circle answers. But most of it. Something has to do with money, finances, an offer of something. And I don't know if somebody tried to offer her something to do as in, so like, let's help grow your net worth and you're going to be this and that. But it's like, it might have been something else that had to come with that. And she either didn't agree with it and, you know, felt very shamed for like, I shouldn't say shamed for not agreeing with it, but it's like me when I was young and, you know, I'm still young, but when I was 19 years old, I, I sung for a mogul and to know that it was something like, okay, he likes my voice and he wants me to record in my head is like, oh, I can actually become an entertainer. Oh my God, it's almost happening. But then when you get there and you find out everything is not what it seems, um, there's always things to do to get up there and against morals and values. And then you pull away like, no, some, some people don't even like, okay. Some people don't know that they're um, signing their soul away. And I try to say she did that, but um, there was a lot of people around her that wasn't, um, didn't have her best interest, especially I'm picking up a lot of men. Um, um, I do want to check her birth chart too. I don't know if they'll have anything on her with the exact, like birth time, but I would love to see how her birth chart looks. Matter of fact, let me see if I can see it now, if they would have it up. Chelsea. And she was so young, y'all. She's like, I just turned 31. So to hear a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful woman just left this this realm and in the most disturbing way it ain't sitting right you know okay she was born april 28 1991 um charlotte north carolina okay i am about to check out her birth chart right now um Oh my God, why is it taking forever to load? Damn. Okay, let's see what's going on here. She's a sun Taurus. Her moon is in Scorpio. Moon in Scorpio in the fourth house. Her Mercury is in Aries. Her Venus is in Gemini. Her Mars is in Cancer. Oh, okay. Her Jupiter, mm, that Jupiter in Leo, that Jupiter in motherfucking Leo. That's why it's a lot of men in her energy. Because you, you know who else who have Jupiter in Leo? Alia. I have Jupiter in Leo. I have like, and I realize a lot of Jupiter and Leo women, it could be men too. I never studied um, a Jupiter and Leo men. I haven't studied that yet. But I realized a lot of the women 
that has Jupiter and Leo, they've been taken advantage of when they were young and still get men throwing themselves at them. Like, so she attract a lot of messed up people, especially when it comes to men, power and wealth. Like she attracts those type of men. Oh no, I don't like that. That's, that's I need to share that screen. Y'all think y'all think y'all y'all need to see because I just pulled pulled up her birth chart. I just pulled up her birth chart. Hold on, let me um let me remove this. Let me share. Hold on, y'all. I got y'all. Let me see share screen. Um, tab her birth chart share um let me see if i can highlight what i'm talking about is this jupiter and leo right here y'all oh no they, they think in the whole thing okay is this right here and it's in her first house too sheesh i'm, I'm gonna check her her sixth house is in sagittarius um, let me check out something while y'all staring at her birth chart. So, um, sixth house, Sagittarius. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to write it because I know the sixth house usually means um aka the death house, the eighth house. Um, so let me check what's her eighth house because now she, if she has an eighth house, let's see, Aquarius, the 20th. So um eighth house Aquarius. Eighth house Aquarius. I can't even spell Aquarius. I never know how to spell. I don't know. I don't don't laugh at me, y'all. If I don't spell Aquarius right, death itself does indeed come under this house, but there are many kinds of death, and most of them can are not physical. Either way, is followed inevitable by a rebirth because it is only form and not life which inherits the form that dies as a watery house eighth house prana emotional exchange i don't know emotional exchange i don't like that mm. and her scorpio is in moon let me see aquarius eighth house Mm. involved in a financial programs often these people are involved in financial programs of a large scale events in society to me what the does that sound like remember the higher front that sounds like because that's a higher scale that is a higher scale of a financial thing you know let me check what else is going on in her birth chart. Hold on. Let me um put myself small so y'all can see her birth chart. Okay. Um, I don't want to make this reading too long. In a degree, let me see. Oh. Okay, 10,000 in Taurus. Um, Let me see something here. Planet placements. Okay, so she has Capricorn North Node, which is in her sixth house. It went retrograde. Um, Neptune. Okay, we uh, Jupiter and Leo is in her first house, though. Let me um. Let me read on that. Hold on. Jupiter 
first house Leo. Jupiter in the first house in Leo is a sign of Leo. Jupiter in the first house, no duh, is a placement that's outward persona, but is a big, okay, to me that comes off like, you know, people shocked, like when they heard the story of the S, the S word that she committed, you know, towards her own self, that would be one of it. These individuals are, they can appear lively, outspoken. They affect good luck through their generosity of spirit and positive attitude. Um, that's not giving me the answer though. Maybe because it's in her first house. Um, need a chart. How to meet a good husband according to the to Jupiter's first house. Because that's understanding order to meet a husband. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. I'm trying to I'm trying to look for something, y'all. I'm trying to see where can I find anything in her birth chart that um Saturn in Aquarius. Saturn in Aquarius is in her seventh house. Okay. Saturn is restriction. Her Mars is in Cancer. The action she put in is in her 12th house, too. Um, so uh degrees. Mm. Her second house is in Leo. To be honest, I think they said if you're, because her Leo would be her Jupiter, which that would be finances, but I don't like that that degree 20. I don't know if she, like I stated before, she might've been having like money. She, she gains money, but it doesn't stay. Like either she's not good with finances, copy. Let me copy that and try to find it. Let me see. Um, Pace Leo. Um, Leo in second house. Jupiter twentieth degree. That's what it is at the 20th degree, though. Like, Cancer Ascendant. She is a Cancer Ascendant, though, and sits in the second house in the Leo sign. This demonstrates that the individual uses experience and wisdom to help and uplift those who are less fortunate. They serve as a religious, spiritual, and motiv motivational advisor. They gain power and resources as a result of their jobs. Okay, that's not giving me the answer I need, though. Hold on. What if Jupiter and Sun? Okay, what if Jupiter is in the second house? I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what else is going on. Leo in the second house. Is generous, and she's a generous person, you know? Here goes Muffin. Muffin is about to be barking again. Boy. So, where's her seventh house? Because Saturn in Aquarius. Okay. And her seventh is Capricorn. So, I don't know who financially. Seventh house in Capricorn in Aquarius. Some, I remember I said the men in her life, because mm, Aquarius usually mean like detached. But let me see. Um, Saturn in Aquarius meaning. Planet of commitment. So is a sign of cool. So that combination manifests commitments to your community or building friendships. 
yeah, she's restricted on committing herself to people. Like she has a troubled time doing that. And it's in her seventh house too. Yeah, let me see. Seventh house Aquarius fosters a taste of partners that are unusual and unconventional. Mm, unconventional. They are drawn to quirky people and to them, they offer loyalty and stability. Even within their relationship, however, Saturn in the seventh house in Aquarius, people prefer an element of freedom and openness. So I don't know if she was dating somebody that kind of was like, yo, like all up on her ass. Hmm. Let me see what else I can find on her chart. But it's in Capricorn too. It's in the 28th, the 29th degree. Hmm. Seventh house Capricorn. Let me seventh. No, not in seventh house Cat. Pre corn seventh house Capricorn. Um, let me see what seventh house Capricorn in Saturn. Let me see what it says about her Saturn. Capricorn and Saturn, seventh house. I think that's the best way to say it. Um, I don't know how old is her boyfriend or like, like I stated before, she attracts men that are very older and that's... Uh, Mm. Capricorn, I don't like that. What's the seventh house in astrology? Uh, subjective. Let me check. Um. I'm trying to see her sixth house. Her sixth house is in Sagittarius. Um, but it's also in Capricorn. Set sixth house, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Capricorn. Capricorn, um, how to say it, you said six hours, Sagittarius, no, I can't say that, wait, what am I doing, I'm trying to, because when you look at birth chart, it's like putting a puzzle together, and you kind of connect on, like, I can actually find what the person was interested in, her energy, her personality, who she could probably have attracted into her life, like the people that were attracted to her because her Mars is in Cancer and Mars isn't like, that's her action and the way she love, right? But she's she shows very much compassion and love, right? Mars in Cancer. Yeah, she's like a nurturer. Um, And she's very emotional too. Very emotional. Let me see what um what house is that in? That's in her 12th house. But let me see what's in the 12th house here. 11, 12, Gemini. Um let me see something real quick. The 28th degree. Hmm. I'm going to need somebody who's really on point with um, reading charts 
because there's something here that's very because she attracted her she's actually her 12th house gemini the way her venus let me see venus 11th house venus 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 gemini in the 11th house Venus, Gemini, and the, uh, and I think it's also on her 12th house too, because, um, let me see, Venus and Gemini in the 11th house. Yeah, so people in love need to have their freedom. So when she's in a relationship, yeah. Yeah, they don't want to be possessed by like people like be all up on them. They generally like to keep their romantic bonds casual. I mean, and plus she got men trying to get with her and yeah, they need a... I ain't gonna say it, but I'm gonna say it. They need a um, and it's in our 11th house and it's the 18th degree. Let me see. Um, that Gemini is also in her 12th house, 28th degree. Gemini in 12th house. Let me see what they say about that because oof, Gemini in the 12th. In the 12th house meeting hidden affairs okay um remember these type of people like okay i'm not answering that it's always random numbers calling me um people born in gemini do, 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 let me See what else they have here. Yeah, they need to um investigate like the men that are around her. Let me see what else. Wow. Okay, let me get off of this. I know y'all like, oh my God, Tika. Oh, I don't like how my shirt doing the illusion. Look. Oh, oh. Um, but this is her birth chart. Um, I'm gonna just try to copy and paste this this birth chart into the um description box below. Um, also her Pluto is in Scorpio in the fourth house. And um, let me see what's going on in her fourth house, Pluto and Scorpio. So her emotions, yeah. Being that she was already a Scorpio moon, she's also a Scorpio Pluto. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't, that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to find out because sometimes in somebody's birth chart, you can find out how they can possibly pass. But let me see. She got a lot of six house, six house, six house. Um, which one? Was six houses in Sagittarius, though. And that's like the six house, six house. There's a lot of Capricorns in the sixth house, too, from her Lilith. Um, let me see. Lilith Capricorn in sixth house. Lilith Capricorn in the sixth house.
All right, which one is the right one? Y'all know what I'm talking about. If I'm spelling it wrong, just come on now. Come on. If you have a little in the sixth house of your chart, her themes will manifest in terms of health, service, and work. Mm, you will be tasked with reclaiming your power and standing up for those who need it most. In traditional astrology, the sixth house is known as the house of bad fortune. But why is it in our sixth house, though? I'm trying to see. Mm. Sixth house. I mean, what's also in her sixth house is her Uranus, her Neptune, and it was in retrograde, too. So I know she was going through a lot in. She have a lot of retrogrades in her sixth house is also in North Node, sixth house. Um, let me see. And that's in Sagittarius. Let me see. Saggy. Sagittarius. Let me see if. Standing up. Bad fortune. The sixth house. Is where things outside of our control happens to us. Um, Black Moon Melissa in the sixth house. Let me see what they have here. I'm trying to see, like, because she has it in the sign of Gemini, not Gemini, in the sign of Sagittarius too. So I'm trying to see. Mm. Illness, pain, disability simply happens sometimes, and no one is to blame. But with Lilith here, you have been blamed for your own misfortune. Ask to answer the unanswerable. Mm. Minimized challenges were minimized and dismissed. Overcome. Let me see a six or seven people. Everyday people come. Okay, everyday people come in contact with those who have power over us, like bosses, landlords, administrators. In an ideal world, those people would use their power to look out for us and our needs. But if you have Lilith in the sixth house, this is really the case. So people um, who have Lilith in the sixth house, these people are usually like, remember when I said something about her, her being a lawyer, like, like at her job, they probably don't even like, she looks beautiful and all, but they kind of, you know, beauties ain't got nothing to do with it. They'll like make sure that you don't get what you need. But if you have little thing in the sixth house, that's really, rarely the case. Instead, you are regularly on the receiving end of Abuse of power. That's what the hair font looked like. I'm saying this is what I'm saying. Like somebody came in with something. I don't know if she was, I don't know. Like at this point, I can't say that she did or she didn't. But I do know is a lot of male energy in her chart. I don't know if people was like fucking with her or making her feel inadequate or somebody was really there to hurt her. Like it's a lot going on in this energy. But take this with it as you will. Read the scrolling lines below. This is all alleged. This is only predictions. But if my predictions come to pass in news or whatever, y'all gonna know. Y'all heard it here. Because wounds and traumas can unturn very literally making you sick. Yeah, whatever trauma she went through, it, it, it really caused her a lot of mental distress. If your pain and frustration don't have some kind of outlet, it can become truly debilitating. Luckily, you can put this pain to good use, advocating for the powerless. I know a good number of people with this placement and have done very good work with animals at risk, youth, and the elderly. Others have become labor organizer and social workers. One way or another, your wounds must take on a higher form. Wow. Wow. There is much more to be said. I'll leave you with this. You, above all, can see exactly how power corrupts. That's true. You can see the way the weak 
are stepped upon. And, and, and I did say she has cancer in Mars. That means she expressed herself. Like people took her kindness for weakness too. And I believe when she was young, because I'm picking up her energy, when she was young, she was very shy. She was bullied. So she didn't really, let me check her Mercury. Her Mercury is in, um, her Mercury is in Aries. Mercury in Aries in the 10th house, because Mercury is how you communicate. Um, let me see how she was able to communicate. Mercury in Aries, what house is it? In? Isn't it again? Mercury in Aries, um, 10th house. It is in the 17th degree. Um, Mercury in Aries in the 10th. Tenth house. Okay. Um, the house of debt. But is it in the third house? No, it's not in the third house. So why is it showing me? Mm, Mercury and Aries. Let me just put tenth house like that. Okay, Mercury being Lord of the sixth and third house. Let me see what's on. I'm sorry, I'm taking long, y'all, because I'm still trying to get like learn more about her energy through looking at her birth chart. So, being that she has Mercury and Aries in the um in her tenth house, now I need to see we're in a tenth house. Tenth is Pisces. Is that the night? No, Aries. So her Aries is in the tenth house. Of Mercury, right? Okay, let me let me do this first. So this is what we're gonna do. One should be friends with their enemies, work in sync with them. So I don't know. This sounds kind of a little. Mm. First, let me see Mercury's in Aries. Let me um share this. Let me stop sharing that. And let me share this page with y'all. Let me share this page. Let me share this page, y'all. I got y'all. Let me share. Um, all right, let me see. Because her Mercury is in Aries, right? So speak. Speak without thinking. Wow. Mm. Okay. Um, let me read more on this. Because sometimes she probably spoke without thinking. Like, you are a quick thinker. Usually people like this do become lawyers. But I don't know. Okay. During Mercury's retrograde, cloud it, you express true feelings, challenging time for you. Oh, speak without thinking. Of thinking before they speak rather than consider your words. You tend to just blurt out whatever is on your mind. While many people appreciate your refreshing honesty, you can also have a tendency to speak harshly then you, um, when you are angry about something. It is challenging for you to keep the fire out of you. Okay. Um, confident decision maker. This is giving lawyer vibes, though. So comfortable owning the consequences of your decision, good or bad. In your opinion, it is better to move forward than waste time and have decisions made for you by the universe because you weren't fast enough. Okay. Um,
Yeah, it seemed like she was always thinking. Okay, Mercury under appear volatile as they always say what is on their mind without apologies, but she is resilient and takes life setbacks on the chin. Mm. Uh, highly compatible with the Mercury and Gemini. Uh, I don't know about that, y'all. Let me see. Let me see. Um, but hers was in the tenth house, though. Let's check. Um, wait, wait. Let me do this. It was in her tenth house again, Aries. So I'm gonna just put. Um, Aries in the 10th house. Aries in the 10th house. What are the best jobs for Harry's? Firefighting, okay. Um, let me see if I can find an article. Aries in the 10th house. Okay, this one. Okay, this one could be, this one can be it. Okay. Underneath it all, it's career ambitions, responsibilities. Um, I don't know, like, I feel like. What I'm getting is like she always tried to just put herself out there, even though she's an introvert, because it's not easy to do that, you know. And I guess she felt every time she tried, it was kind of like just look pretty and be quiet. I mean, that's what I'm getting. Like, just mm, sh we got this. You just sit there. You don't. You don't get to speak how you feel. Okay, just sit there and look pretty. I don't know why that just popped up. Like, because this chart is giving, like, that chart is giving that. Mm. I have fourth houses in Libra. Um,. Her Scorpios and Pluto, the fourth house. I'm trying to see. It's in her fifth house, too. Let me see. Um, Fifth house, Scorpio. Fifth house, Scorpio. Pluto, because that's true. The fifth house, Scorpio, Pluto. Okay. What does Scorpio in the fifth house mean? Um, rebirth, healing, obsession and control. Um, alcohol often seem fearless, which is true in most cases. Your passion for life and love is unparalleled, and you are fiercely protected. Protective of your loved ones. Okay. Um, what does Pluto in? Okay. I think it's also 
I don't know if indecisive. April. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get my, my dog because she's about to start the barking. We don't need that. All right, let's see what's going on. Mm. Private. That is in her fifth house. Dating, play, playfulness. Um. Mm. All right, I didn't get an answer from that either. I hope someone on YouTube actually does like a good reading on her chart. And um, yeah, that was a lot. But she does have a lot of male energy around her. I don't know if that made her or somebody it's, it's just giving very weird vibes i'm not liking how the reading came about i just believe they need to do more investigation um and hopefully um the answers and the truth will come out um yeah So my thing is like, okay, I don't know if she, okay, if she did do the, I'm getting, it was a lot of male energy. I guess that brought her down and, you know, however she was feeling emotionally. And if that's not the case, somebody is involved. And of course it's, it's going to be a man um, or men. Um, she was going through a lot financially. Um, what else? That's that's all I'm, I'm picking up, y'all. I, you know, I tried. Um, I did look at her birth chart to see if there's anything, um, in her her Virgo. I don't see her third house is in Virgo. Mm, I'm trying to see something real quick, y'all. I'm like, look, all right, let me do one more. Is the third, her third house is in Virgo? Because that can also talk about her finances. Um, Virgo in third house. Virgo in third house. In speech, um, she's very precise in speech, letter writing, information of ideas. These ideas will always bring practical and workable journey, short tips, planned and organized. Let me see. And it's, it is also ruled by Mercury. Like she always wanted to plan something. And... <sighs> What does the third house represent? House of siblings. Mm. Focused on what you're striving to make. She also worried about being judged a lot by people too. Um, I, I I don't know if she was bullied. I keep getting like she was bullied when she was younger. Um, and that's in the fifteenth degree. But so far, that's the only thing I'm seeing. In her chart, um, let me, uh, they only showing her her north node. I don't see the south. Oh, I can look at the trines though. 
How many trines she got? Ooh, trine in her Lilith. Square in her Jupiter. Yep, the sun square in her Jupiter. Yep, because I'm telling you, it's going to be difficult. Like, you know, even though she got what she wanted, she still find it, like, difficult. Um, moon. Wow, it's a lot of her moon. The moon sextile, her Lilith. Um, what else? Read more. I want to read more. Opposition. She have a lot of squares and conjunctions and oppositions. And, oh, Lord, baby girl. And well, she only got one trine. No, she got two trines. That's her Mars and Pluto. How she expresses love and actions. And oh boy, she only got two trines. Yeah, this 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 shit here. And it's and it's all in her Saturn, her Mars, her Jupiter, especially that Mercury. For some reason. She had a difficult time when it came to expressing her communication and things like that. It was a lot. Like, I don't think she felt like her, vo her voice was being heard. So that gave her a lot of um, inner conflict because the moon it has a lot of squares. Um, her son is trying her. Oh, boy. Is trying her Uranus because she had a lot of good ideas that were very different, but people weren't fucking with it either. That kind of there's a lot of things that she had to face that made her feel like inadequate sometimes. And you know, especially when it comes to you know, we live in the man's world, and um, yeah, this is her birth chart right here. Let me share the screen again. Um let me share. Here we go. I don't know what that um what this red mean. What that mean? You're not gonna tell me what that mean. What that mean? The major. I'm gonna see minor too. You just can't put come on out. Mm. Let me see. What's the point of having all of these? They act like we can press on this and really read something. I don't even know. I don't even know that was up here. All right, let me see her. Wait, Muffin. Wait, what does that mean? Again, arrangement of five objects with four corner of a square. I wish like they had it in a way where we can click on it and it'll tell us like what it is. Wow. Squares. Squares. She have a lot of squares, y'all. Let me see. Um, Sun trine Uranus. Hold on. Let me see. A lot of squares. She she was faced with a lot. Um, sun. Um, trine. You. Uranus aspects between the sun and sometimes indicate of an independent character, someone who enjoys their freedom, liberty, and truth. Odious aspect between indicate the person who wants to live his own life without restrictions. <sighs> I mean, that's a lot of our generation because I'm born 1991 too. A lot of us we have this in our chart. And it's like, we're like, y'all trying to really restrict us, like what's going on. And we're just not having it. It doesn't feel right. We're sick of it. 
And she really wanted to speak out about it. I don't know if she has spoken out about it because I think it was, it's, it's in her, like a trine. Let me see, it's her trine. I don't know if it, because it was a low degree. Um, let me see. In fifth, in fifth degree. I'm gonna see if they're able to pick that up. No, that's not it. That's not what I'm looking for. All right, so Sun square her Jupiter. Let me see. Sun square Jupiter, because boys get stupid. All right, Sun square Jupiter. Hmm, the blockage between optimism in life and the maturity of the self. It is necessarily to consider this aspect with particular attention to the general picture of the chart because this aspect manifests differently depending on the type of person. So sun, let me see. Sun square Jupiter. It is different influence in people prone to passivity um, in someone's with tendency to lead to hypochondria, a lower desire to live, a lower desire to live. So that might be she or a continuous struggle to overcome imaginary conflicts, the personal conflict between self and harmonious participation in the surrounding environment in the social life often tends to be projected outwards in turn you will find yourself in situations facing certain obstacles that actually originate within your own personality mm, pessimism that are okay from all this is on Mm. Wow. And it was a low degree too. Wow. That's probably the um sun square her Saturn. Let me let me see if they already have like sun. Trying, no, they don't have trying her Jupiter. The sun does trying her Lilith, though. Mm. These are a lot of low degrees, too. I don't know if the lower the degree, the more debilitating. I don't know. Let me see. Um, sun square Saturn. Let me do this real quick. Sun square. Saturn. Oh, conflicts with the father figure. Ooh. That's but then I just say that um yeah, there's gonna be a lot coming out about her father. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Mm. And also that person's father will have misfortune. Lord. So something going to be talked about with the father. Okay. Um. So for those who's still watching my live, thank you. Well, not watching my live, but whoever's going to watch this video. Thanks for watching, sticking around long. Look, I'm just learning because it was too many male figures that came out, including the father came out. So I'm just trying to clarify by looking at the chart and it's actually squaring. And it's the one degree too. Ooh, 
It's the lowest degree. Well, the lowest degree is the zero. Let me see the moon square Jupiter. Now, moon square Jupiter, because boys get stupider. All right. It's the opposite. Gambler, risk taker, 90% of time. 90% of the time luck swings their way um but when they do fail they fail okay it's not like me. Uh, but the opposite jupiter needs to teach mm. but also to preach it has strong opinions on on pretty much everything leading others to get rather tired I don't know what that means, but I don't. Her chart is very heavy, y'all. Um, like emotionally heavy. Like it's a lot. I don't know if every time she felt like she gained something, um, it just didn't. It just didn't work, y'all. Like Mercury square Uranus. Mm. All right, I'm gonna end this. End this right here. But her like her her birth chart is giving kind of a um yeah it is giving kind of a um very low vibrational um a person who would like be like look I'm tired I'm emotionally tired I'm checking out that's what it's giving but I feel like I don't know if people was playing her causing her to like be like F it. And they also need to investigate. So I'm not going to say she did or she did not or somebody did it, but it's a lot of male energy. It's something with men and just not being taken seriously and not being, you know, people be thinking like being beautiful is easy for some women. You're like, women really got to fight for position to be what they want and say what they want without being like restricted, you know? And she already had the title of pageant. She probably didn't even, you know, it's like it's something to do, but it was kind of like, mm, she probably thought she can use that as a stepping platform to actually do more. I don't know if she felt like she wasn't doing enough, um, but she has a lot, a lot, a lot of struggle um, in low and very low vibrational energy in her chart. And, you know, when I look at some people's birth charts and if they have a lot of squares and, you know, conjunctions and oppositions and, and there's not enough trines and sextiles, then it's like, you can always be aware of your energy and you can always change, you know what I'm saying? But now seeing like where her placements are, it's very, very, it's making sense. And that Jupiter and Leo and, you know, a lot of the squares and a lot of the male energy that came out in her chart and even looking in her birth chart, um, a lot of the male energy that was coming through the reading of the cards, it, it, it speaks a lot. So I also, I don't know if somebody tried to take advantage of her, but I'm getting that energy too. I'm not trying to say the day that she passed, but just like she had to go through that a lot. So um, I'm ending this video. Thanks for watching, y'all. I know it's been a lot. It's been a lot that we uncovered. It's been two hours. Um, let me share this real quick. So y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. Okay. So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is what we're going to do. Yes. Okay. Please comment, subscribe. Comment and subscribe, y'all. Comment and subscribe. Comment and subscribe. Comment and subscribe. And hit the notification button so you know when I'm on live and uploading a new video for you lovely people. Um, What else?
what else? And leave a comment below, all right? Thanks for watching this. This was very, 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 very interesting. And I'm going to close this reading off, by the way, with this. So I'll close it out for Miss Chelsea. Rest in peace, Shamsi. Rest in peace, love. Okay. That was an interesting reading, y'all. You kind of make me, you know, look, I didn't study nothing about her. This is all that just came up, like, authentically. So let's see what comes out in a few days about anything. But I have a feeling, like, news, like, about her father or her family, especially her father. And just how she was treated by people was is, is probably an indicator of, why she felt the way she felt i don't know but it's a lot going on so I, I really believe that might come out um but i don't know so far like i stated everything before everything is alleged 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 because <laughs> i don't need nobody coming for me it's in, it's in the cards she had to deal with a lot of bullshit that it made it made her emotionally drained like she felt like Y'all think like, oh my gosh, she looked beautiful, but she was like already done inside. She felt like she always had to keep fighting, fighting. Like it was always something. Like, damn, I like her thing is like, I did everything right. I, I accomplished a lot and I still feel like I can't even accomplish what I want. Like she wanted to make a difference, but she was still going through a lot internally from either something in childhood too, because that six of cups came out is something that she's emotionally thinking about from her past. There's a lot of emotional trauma from her past too. So um, like I said before, Chelsea, rest in peace. Um, yeah, and I'm about to go y'all. Love y'all, thanks for watching. See y'all again. Okay, let me just, um, no, let me put this up, there you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay up. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love y'all. Thanks for watching so much. Okay. And again, if you guys are feeling like you have no one to talk to, please look at the screen below in yellow reach out to that number, reach out to someone you know that who's willing to listen to you without any judgment, with the understanding and just know that you're not alone. I stated in my last video, look it up, how to deal with mental issues, you know, how to deal with trauma. Cause I've been there. Like I was dealt crazy cards. I was in forced to care. I, I was sexually abused a lot, like, and I dealt with being touched by my brother, my adopted brother, and I've experienced a lot of pain. And I know how it feels to be like, look, I don't want to go through this anymore. I know how it feels. But just know it gets better. Nothing ever lasts. Life is beautiful. And it's to be lived. Learn how to detach from outcomes that you feel like you have no control over. I'm telling you, because when one door closes, another will open. I promise. Sometimes we got to learn how to let things go because when we hold on to stuff, when we hold on to things and the outcome of what we think we need is not really what we, you know, we think we want. It's just not what we need. And, um, I just want y'all to know not to do that because that brings suffering when you have so much attachment to things you have no control of. You have to be patient. You have to have faith. Whatever works, whatever's, how to say it again? Look, whatever is for you, it'll come to you. Don't stress. Breathe. Breathe. 
Close your eyes, breathe in and breathe out slowly. Meditate, pray. All that negative thoughts, all those fears, those aren't real. Don't listen to it. Always try to be the best you mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Treat people how you want to be treated. And understand that everything in life is lessons. Nothing is a failure. All are lessons. If somebody out there is being disgusting to you, rude to you, treating you disgusting, please understand that you can express yourself about how uncomfortable they make you feel, but do it in a respectful way. If they're not willing to be open, that's on them. That's not you. How others think of you should not hurt you. It's all about how you feel about yourself because hurt people hurt people. And just know if somebody's being disgusting to you, being grimy, being rude, if you know you're a beautiful person, you didn't do nothing wrong to deserve that. Sometimes, hey, some people got to receive karma. But even when you know karma is coming to you, you got to approach the situation differently and pray for people. Y'all got to start learning how to pray for people because y'all got to understand other people's issues with you ain't yours. Don't don't indulge in that. Don't personalize. Learn how to not personalize other people's reaction towards you. Because they ain't nothing got they ain't, they ain't got nothing to do with you. Seriously, I had to learn that because I used to be so react reacting to everything, and then I had to understand everything don't need a reaction. Sometimes I just gotta say, okay, I forgive you. I'm gonna pray for you. All right, and keep it moving. You'd be surprised how the other person will stare at you like, wow, like I just did something mean and said something mean to this person, and they didn't do nothing back in return, but said something good and kind and blessed me. Because I'm telling you, when you give people respect or you wish them well and they was treating you wrong, I'm telling you, life is going to bless you tenfold, tenfold. And trust me, I had to learn this because I was once being nasty to people. And I, and I realized I was doing that because I was hurt. I was bringing my own pain, my own traumas, and I was projecting it out on other people for no reason. And I had to understand I became a victim to what others placed on me. It was like I was holding on to poison. You got to let go poison. Let, let it go. All right, y'all. So good night. I love y'all. Take care until the next video. Like I stated before, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment below. I love y'all very much. Please take care of yourselves. Please look out for your friends and family and just a stranger. If you see somebody out there that needs help, help them. If you see somebody that just look down, smile at them. I know we wear a mask now, but you can still wave hi. You can still smile behind your mask because you can tell from your eyes if your smile is genuine. Because I, I can tell when people are smiling through their mask because their eyes, their eyes squint. All right. Don't let this world drive you crazy. That's what that's what these people want. They want people to be disconnected and separated. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. Remember, love is always going to overcome evil. Love is always going to overcome hate. So if you fall into low vibrational energy, you just become a victim and a puppet to this to this whole this whole society. All right, y'all. Good night. Take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye.